Hey guys, so previously we learned about the radian measure of an angle and how we can convert an angle given in degrees to, ang to the angle in radians. And we got these expressions. We said that if an angle is given in degrees, we can convert it into radians by multiplying that angle by pi over 180. Similarly, if an angle is given in radians, it can be converted to degrees by multiplying by 180 over pi. Now let's consider this. Let's say that I have, I have a circle over here and I want to find the area of the sector of the circle. So I want to find the area of the sector in terms of the angle theta in radian. Well, we've learned previously that the area of a sector can be found by taking the angle in degrees divided by 360 times the total area of the circle, which is pi r squared. So the area we want to find the area of the sector, which is a, in terms of the angle in radians. Well, how do we do that? Well, we have an expression for the angle in degrees in terms of the angle in radians. So we can simply substitute this expression for the angle in degrees. We can say that the area of the sector A is equal to the angle in degrees can be rewritten as 180 over pi times the angle in radians. So we can say the angle in degrees is 180 over pi times the angle in radians. So we've substituted for the angle in degrees in terms of radians. And we have to divide this by 360. So we divide by 360, multiply by pi r squared. So here we have an expression for the area of the sector A in terms of the angle in radians. So let's simplify. Well, over here we can see that pi and pi cancel each other out. We know that 180 divided by 360 is just 1 over 2. So what we get is the following expression that the area A of a sector can be written as 1 over 2 times r squared times the angle in radians. And we can use this expression. We can use this expression to find the area of the sector. We can, we can use this expression to find the area of the sector A in terms of the radius r and the angle theta in radians.